Tony. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Wherever Kay is, happy birthday, Kay. Probably out and back getting presents. I don't know what a 16-year-old gets these days, if it's a pokey something or a Pinterest something or there's buzzwords. Uh, this is a poem I've been working on called The Gates of Heaven. If you end up famous when you die, some hack cartoonist will draw the shallowest, stupidest representation of your life standing at the gates of heaven. Even if you died at 80, if the thing you were famous for happened when you were 19, that is how you will be drawn in the newspaper at the gates of heaven. Even if what made you famous limited you, typecast you, made you one-dimensional, was a blip in the ocean of what you thought really defined you, even if you consider it a minor accomplishment compared to much better things you did that were not as well known, your family, your charity, your hard-earned life philosophy, that stupid thing will be how you are drawn by some hack cartoonist at the gates of heaven. Even if you didn't believe in the Christian idea of an afterlife, even if you didn't believe in any kind of afterlife, or thought you'd be reincarnated, or taken to Valhalla, or simply stopped being there, the thinnest version of your life will be standing in front of St. Peter, who will spout a sad or funny version of your old catchphrase, there at the gates of heaven. Adam West hadn't been Batman since, what, 1968? Fifty years later, he's climbing up a bat rope to St. Peter's door. That is what fame does. You think it might let the world understand you. You might help, you might think you're helping other people understand themselves better through your good works and deeds. But in death, you will be reduced to a soundbite version of yourself. An advertisement for a Cliff's Notes to a dummy's guide to your life. Jesus was a socialist who hung out with hookers and day laborers, told people to pay their taxes, and took an ax to the banks. But the elevator pitch about coming back from the dead, and you could too, that his friends laid out as the hook to get the philosophy to the market, out to the ideas of the world. Soon all that's left is the hook. And now there's prosperity gospels. And now there's crusades. Now there are people justifying their hatred with it. Because the price of being known is that people only give a damn about the hook. Bowie, in full Ziggy Stardust makeup, he'd retired in 1975 in a cartoon at the Gates of Heaven. Robin Williams in full Mrs. Doubtfire gag drag in a cartoon at the Gates of Heaven. Jesus on the cross in a cartoon at the Gates of Heaven. Fame will suck it out of you. It'll make everyone remember your name and everyone misremember what you stood for. Leave you some freelance cartoon hacks fill in the blank cartoon. Climb in paradise walls on a rope in your old bat suit at the gates of heaven. Not that I wouldn't try being famous, of course. We all want to believe we're the exception to the rule, even though we won't be, even though we're all fools when it gets to the gates of heaven. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Quite strong, everybody. We got